What's up, Mercs? It's Sean here with some more Skyrim. Last time we cleared this cave of the Necromancer, and today we're gonna get a house. So, let's get a move on. Also, I went ahead and I moved Somerset Isles to the end of my load order, so hopefully we won't see any more texture issues. And... And nothing. I have nothing else to say. Let's just get a move on. Also, this place is kind of hard to maneuver, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cast a little bit of weaken gravity, because gravity is hindering me. There, much better. That is a lot better, actually. I'm still gushing over the architecture of these caves, and whatever this crystal substance is, it's so cool! It'd be really cool to see weapons made out of this stuff. I mean, it... I, I don't know... Maybe there are weapons made out of it. Maybe it's too brittle. I mean, it could be very brittle. I don't know. I don't know the makeup of it. But either way, it'd be really, really cool to see something like that. I don't know. Maybe we'll see one eventually in this area. Maybe we won't. But I'd really like to know at least what that stuff's called. Maybe someone will at least tell us, Oh, yeah, that's Crystalinium. That's, of course, it's very rare, but not really because it's everywhere. Uh, and it's unbreakable. That's why we can't make swords out of it. We can't even mine the stuff. And that's why it also has magical properties. It looks into your soul or some shit like that. I mean, come on. It's used at the Mage Guild. It's put there. Maybe so that kind of puts out the idea that it's not unbreakable. Wait. Puts, it, it does away with the idea that it is unbreakable. Because, well, unless they build it on a little bit of a formation, and even then they'd probably have to mine some away, so I'm guessing it's not unbreakable, but still, you never know. You never know. Let's go ahead and go talk to the dude who has a house for us, because I would really like the tree house here. It looks pretty nice. I'm gonna eat another apple, and I'm gonna go ahead and get my long stride ready, and it's gonna be really nice to have a spot to store stuff on this land as well as the land of Skyrim here. Oh, this is the Mortar Manor. I was like, wait, what? Didn't realize it was this close to my house. That's okay, though. He's our neighbor, after all, and he did build the other house. I can't be mad at him for living too close. Be like, the house you gave me for simply killing a necromancer is too close to yours. I don't like it. Hello. I've killed the necromancer. Great. Thank you. I will now sell the house to you for 25,000 gold. What? I don't have 25,000 gold. Well, if you get the gold, you know where I am. What? The fuck? That wasn't part of the deal. That... Can I help you? Can... What? That was not part of the goddamn deal, you son of a bitch. You said if I killed the necromancer... You fucking prick. You fucking... Mmm, 25, that's 250 pounds of gold, you fucking piece of shit. Whatever. I'm not gonna get angry at that. Maybe I'll return here at some other time. I can't do that, though. This guy has not done anything wrong to me. I mean, in my mind, he has deceived me, and deceivery is... Deceivery? Is that even a fucking word? I don't know. Deceivery isn't good, but, uh, you know... He's not evil, per se. I can't just go around murdering him for no reason at all. Where's Serana, by the way? Also, stutter. Where's Serana, though? Is she just... I mean, we're not locked in... Holy shit, I just realized these plague rats have, like, mushrooms growing on them. That's pretty cool. She's not locked in, like, infinite combat, because if she was, we wouldn't... Or we wouldn't be able to wait. We wouldn't be able to wait, and we'd be, like... Well, we wouldn't be able to use long strides, what I'm trying to say. We already used long strides, so we're not in infinite combat. I'm really glad these guys don't actually give the play, because that would be awkward if they did. I guess they're not contagious. Maybe it's just like an animal plague. Who knows? There we go. Where's the other one? Did he run away? Did you run away like a little baby? Come here. There you go. Face your fate. Yeah, so they have lots of stuff on them, but... Well, I guess we can harvest the mushrooms off their back. We didn't get anything bad. No, okay, good. Good, good. Let's eat again, because apparently this apple is not good enough for me, so we have a steak there. Hopefully that helps us out a little bit more. And let us long stride to what looks to be some sort of... ruins? I don't know. 
Hmm. Oh, yeah. Ruins. So I can already tell... Well, I mean, I can assume that the uh, the moving the load order has worked. <gasps> Floating island. Because I can, already, I can like, guarantee this tower right here would have been glitched, and so would be the other one. And the one in the distance right there. So, yeah. I was expecting it to work, because... The fix makes sense, but I'm just glad to see it's working. Also, is this a Thalmor camp? It's a Thalmor camp, holy shit. If you see any signs of Talos worship, it's your obligation to report them to me. How about... Search for the shrine of Talos east of Cradle Crush Rock. Cradle? Where the fuck is that? Oh, it's a miscellaneous. It's kind of cool to have miscellaneous here. Cradle Crush Rock? What the fuck is Cradle Crush? I don't even know where Cradle Crush Rock is. The fuck you on, man? You think I'm a native here? God. Alright, so this is a Thalmor camp. I don't want to stay here too long. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, oh there we go. Itchy nose. Anyone in here that I can break out? I see the Thalmor as evil because what they do with the Imperials, but, well, no, not, no but. But is not part of it. I don't see Thalmor as good people. However, I'm not just going to start engaging their fortress for no reason. <gasps> We're doing it. We're going to the float in islands. What's going on over here? Hello? Is that a thingy? It is a thingy. What's up, Hunger? How you doing today? Not that well, apparently. Oh, it was a Thalmor wizard under attack. Good, he's dead. That means I don't need to do it myself. Let's go ahead and record in the journal again. And let us continue into the distance where I can see some beautiful floating... Oh my god, it's more than just floating on... Holy shit, look at that. That looks so cool. That's so cool. Oh my god. What is that, anyway? That's Eleanor! Okay, so Alinor is a fucking half-floating city. Look at the freaking the, the, the little house up there. Like a bit, it's actually a big house. That's so cool. That is so cool. And there are a lot of spiders over here. Hello, spiders. Where are you anyway? Harden spiders. Harden. Mmm. The metapod is strong within you, indeed. Too bad. Fire just goes right through that. You're not very strong. You really want to? Okay. Let me just, uh... Let's do this. Do this right. Yeah, what's up, man? Get fucking dual-wielded. Also, I want to see this right like this. I'm curious to see what it looks like. No, that's not it. I got get a little more stamina back here. There we go. Look at that. That's such a fucking amazing attack. And now we can use it whenever we want. You know... No, never mind. That doesn't work. I was about to say I could. I wonder if I could make a combo spell that would instantly dual wield them, but that wouldn't make sense because it only utilizes it in one hand, so that wouldn't work. That'd be cool though. It would be pretty damn cool. Go and grab this. I mean, it's easy. I just click. You know, I click the hockey twice and instantly cast both of them, and then boom! All of a sudden, we're dual wielding, and then rawr! so it's not hard. It's not hard in the slightest. Did I level up? I don't think so. No. Okay, I thought... I don't, I'm close, though. Alright. Let's keep on moving. We're actually three levels away from getting a destruction adept... Or, uh, not adept. Expert. I want to get long stride out here. So that's pretty good. Also, just make sure I'm not missing anything. There is something coming up here. Yeah, it looks like it's right past this rock formation, maybe? I guess we can go check that out and see what it has to offer us. Also, we have a bit more palm tree action, some coconut trees. That's pretty nice. And this thing's coming up even faster, actually. Whatever this is. It is... It looks like... Oh, it's a house. Or a shack. Or building. What do we have here? White guard. Hello? Okay, none of my magic showing up here. There we go. White guard trade shack. Ooh, a trade shack. I do like trading. Hmm. Well, he has a lot of gold to sell. Well, you don't sell gold to trade, I guess. Fire is not a thing to be played with. Hi. Yes? Hi. Good day. Oh, is it too late for... Yeah. Let me... It's probably too late. Let me go ahead and uh, 
sleep until 9 a.m., then it'll probably be open for business, and then we can have a nice trading interaction, hopefully. I don't know. Maybe not. So we'll go to 9 a.m. here. Boop. There we go. And now we need to eat. How can I assist? No one's going to talk to me now? No. Good day. Mm. I don't know. I'm guessing we need to do something with this area later. Man, no one wants to speak with me. I guess I'm not good enough for them. I'm the Archmage of Winterhold, goddammit. <laughs> I just want to do some trading. At least thanks for letting me sleep overnight. That's actually quite nice of them. They could have been mean and told me to shoo away and... Whoa. This is... Let me record in the journal here. This is... I mean... It's not overwhelming, but... Does anyone else just get this spooky vibe from this area? Look at this shit. That's some spooky shit right here. I don't know if I like this. There's so many Nurn Roots. I hate the sound of Nurn Roots. With a fucking passion. And also, what is moving through the water all, like, invisible here? Oh, get it. There we go. Now I'm soaking wet. And what is, how, how cold is it? Probably super cold, my luck. The air is cool. Okay, it's not that cold. What is that? Swamp Hound. Swamp Hound. What the fuck? Ew! Oh my god! It's a slaughterfish dog. What the actual fuck? I'll take your scales. But it's literally a dog slaughterfish. What the fuck? Ow! Holy shit! What the fuck was that? I just exploded! Who exploded on me? And where's Serana? Serana's lost somewhere. I remember seeing her. She was just sitting in the bottom of the of the one cave. I might have to go back and get her. Also looks like we have a little bit of ruins coming up here. This one isn't. This one's definitely ruins. The other one that we found the Thalmor camp obviously wasn't. Well, maybe it was, and they just set up camp there. But this is definitely abandoned. Hmm. Let's see what we got up here. Anything of interest? Maybe some people to speak with and get some quests from. Holy fuck! What is doing this to me? What is that? What the fuck? Stop! Who is attacking me? I... What, what is going on? I don't... I... It... It's the worst thing, because it's making me fucking jump every time. I don't know what it is. There's no one here! I just explode over and over again. Just leave me alone. Please. I'm sorry. I don't know what I did to you, but please, leave me go. That's the third time it fucking happened. That's scaring the shit out of me. And maybe it's a... Oh, there's two gates. Maybe it's some sort of a trap? I guess it could be. I don't see any sigils or... Just hanging moss. I don't see anything down here. Okay, it might happen here, so just be prepared. Okay, didn't. Okay, good. Reminder. Tell him that he needs to improve his identification of fungal properties. Okay. Song of Alchemists. There we go. We have a skill book. So it was an old alchemy lab, I guess, here? Not anymore, though. There's a chest. Almost missed it. Ooh. So I've noticed in these little, you know, normal chests in the land of Somerset, they tend to have better stuff in them compared to the normal chests of the land of Skyrim. Whereas the bigger chests, the bigger, fancier chests, have good stuff there. Granted, I haven't seen a fancy chest here yet, so maybe there's even better stuff. But I'm liking the increased valuability? That's not a word. The increased value of things I find in the lesser chests. Makes me happy. Take some salmon meat and some salt piles. A little more salmon meat. I can cook that when I get to a fire. Or whenever that fucking random fireball just explodes in my goddamn mouth again, I guess I can cook it on that too. For fuck's sake, seriously. I don't understand what was going on there. And I have a feeling it's gonna happen again, and I'm not ready for it, and I'm gonna jump out of my fucking... God, out of my skin! Let's just go. Let's relax. And go. We're okay. There's also something here that I'm pissing. Pissing? I'm pissing. Oh god. I'm passing. Uh, I think these are swamp hounds. Yep. I 
missed. Come on, Swamp Hounds. There we go. One down. So, like, one to kill. Just gotta wait for the DOT to actually take its effect. There we go. Two down. Three down, actually. I got both of them there. Alright, make sure we get... And we could take meat, which would probably be good, Swamp Hound meat. But I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with the scales, because they're worth quite a bit. And they don't weigh that much at all. Oh, fucking Nurn Roots. I don't even want these Nurn Roots. I just want to get them because I hate the sound of them. And I don't want them to be living anymore. So I ripped them out of the fucking ground. I fucking hate them so much. What was that sound? Thought I heard something. Alright, looks like we have a little bit of a pier coming up here. Hello? Is anybody still alive here? I mean, I don't know why anyone would be dead. I mean, it's not like there's a war going on or anything, but still, you never know. This place seems relatively inhabited. Hello? Abandoned dock. Maybe not. Maybe this was part of an old fucking civilization, because everyone's dead. Or missing. Now, can we do anything with the anvil? Um. No. The answer is no. wonder why. Oh my god, what's going on? What is going on? What? I... I'm stuck. <laughs> there we go. That was a weird-ass fucking thing I was stuck in. Also, I want some backup for this fight, because there's a ton of people. It looks like this might be... Was this... What, what are we talking here? Bandit ambush, possibly? Yep, bandit ambush. You sons of bitches. Actually, I can switch to my crackle because these guys are using pretty heavy armor. If I can actually hit, that is. I said if I can actually hit, that is. They're also stuck on the fucking tree. Oh my god! Oh! Fuck, I, I keep missing! Come on! There we go! Get fucking annihilated, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, small cut there, but that's okay. I think they're all dead. And yeah, that has proved my point. Well, there's that's proved not my point, but that's proved two things to me. Holy shit. One, holy super shit. Wow. One, I'm fucking terrible. I my accuracy is god awful. That's the first thing it's proved to me. Second, my crackle and chain lightning have not gotten too weak to fight the things I'm going up against. It's just the undead that I've been using it on mostly, and that's why I saw the massive decrease in damage. Also, where's the body that I just that we killed? I know I looted one, but there were three enemies. What is this? Huh! <gasps> Holy shit. Oh man, I don't want any of this stuff though. I like how this is actually. Just gotta come on. Fuck, just take them all so I can just drop them later. So much septum! So much septum! Like a hundred septums in here, maybe. Actually, oh, yeah, a little bit over fifty, probably. I probably should have looked at how much money I had and then waited to count it all up. But whatever. There we go. And now we can drop these elven cubs, even though they don't weigh that much. They also don't value that highly. Yeah, I don't know. I thought there was. There were definitely three of them. Here's one. Actually, I'm missing them. They're in the water. In the water. This isn't water. Uh, don't know. This is, um, grass and foliage. Yeah. You idiot. There was another one. However, I don't know if I'll be able to find that one due to the grass and foliage. Their gear is worth quite a fucking price, though. Like, the elven stuff. That stuff's really high in value. I like it. Now, are we gonna be able to find someone who can afford all of it? Or half of it? Or most of it? Ugh. Maybe? I don't know. We're gonna try. I don't know if any cities around here can. Uh, we're almost at the Farmer's Tale, though. It's coming up on our left. Unfortunately, we are back to Ease Burden, and we're actually, well, even though we're 80 pounds away, if we get another bandit encounter, we might be a lot closer to reaching our Ease Burden limit. So we gotta hurry up and get this stuff offloaded sometime soon, so we're not over-encumbered, and so we get a lot more money. Let's go ahead and launch right away there. Away we go. What is this? I guess I'll investigate. Why not? I might as well investigate as much as possible. So if I ever need to, or if I if I ever don't return to an area, hidden cave. Hidden? I don't see a hidden cave. Is is there a, what? Hidden where? 
fuck. It's hidden. I, I don't know where it's hidden. A, a hidden cave that's actually hidden. I'll just do this. It's over here. I had a feeling it was over here. I just didn't know. Oh. Oh, look at this. Well, that's cool. All right. Let's go inside there before we freeze to death next time. Because I think I'm going to end today's adventure here. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.